fellow Kenyans, as he preaches a false hustler narrative, today the deputy president owns five high-end helicopters piloted by white captains with an exclusive grabbed hangar at Wilson Airport. The ADC land, that is Agricultural Development Corporation land, in Laikipia was grabbed by William Ruto and must revert back to the state. He also took a loan at AFC to irregularly obtain land belonging to the former vice president. In fact, those who read the history of our countries, I think first vice president Jomo Rumbi will know that he was a political saint. This land is actually village land in Kilgoris has also been similarly taken away. The National Land Commission made a finding that Western Hotels sits on land belonging to the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. An attempt was even made to grab the land belonging to Langata Road Primary School. Poor kids, who doesn't remember them being tear gassed so the land can be grabbed. And we stood firm with those children, Kenyan children, we have a right to school, to go to school. Imagine tear gassing little kids to be able to satisfy, to satisfy what is clearly insatiable greed for land. The list is actually endless. We owe it to ourselves and the future generations to rid this country of corruption, which has plagued our economy, and to re-engineer our economy towards double-digit growth better than when I was His Excellency Mike Kibaki's Vice President. According to President Uru Kenyatta, we lose over two billion shillings a day of hard-earned taxpayers' money to, thiv to, to thievery. Remember High Commissioner Edward Clay when he once talked about that. Um, I wanted to talk about even the, the land belonging to a Kenyan who has since passed away, Mr. Muteshi in Eldoret, 100 acres, gone. And even a criminal finding was actually made. I think there was an appeal. But an appeal is just an appeal. Today, fellow countrymen, I candidly put it to you, we must stop this vice once and for all. Na kutoka leo, jameni, tutamaliza wizi. Na wizi vile vile. Diyo tukasema, in fact, I think Deputy President gleefully said, sisi wana waipa, tulikuwa tukasema kazi bila wizi. Kazama, kwa zababu ya hii mambo ya yata, ati ni wizi bila kazi. Eee. We have made and put the record straight. That's why I don't even want to speak much. I've made my statement clearly hard-hitting, deliberately. Because we must bring to end this political no nonsense. Or people stealing. Yani mtu anaiba. And kwa zoe ni muizi anaona watu anekembea. Muizi yule. Muizi. Dio yule. Hei ndiye muizi. Mungu wabariki Kenya yetu, wabariki vile vile nyenye nyote. Let us actually cultivate a culture and a chapter 6 of our country's constitution. Because if we don't do it, we'll have no country in the years to come. Asanteni. And one final thing um, about the, uh, the, the ruling by the Court of Appeal Judges. Um, of course, we continue to internalize this finding. Um, as we speak, we lost uh, a county member of uh, Makweni County Assembly through a tragic road accident. And this road between Nairobi and Mombasa continues to kill a lot of our people. So dualizing it will be a very, very urgent, important uh, very, very important undertaking for us. But then, there's a by-election. 
In fact, I think our candidate is trying to present some papers at Makindu. But I asked myself the question, because we are supposed to win that by election. It's not a big issue. Um, and our team's on the ground. Um, in fact, led by Senator Kavindu, I think, and others today were in Makindu. But uh, in the light of this finding, we have no doubt that Waipa will win that seat. But in the light of this finding about the quorum of IEBC, I want to challenge IBC themselves to come out on this matter because I think there are several others, two or three, by elections. Let them come out and, and, and pronounce themselves in the light of the judgment by the Court of Appeal whether they can actually validly conduct this by elections now. I would like to imagine the law, the finding may not apply retroactively and therefore the yesteryear, yester, yesteryear, or yester month uh, by elections can stand. But now, in the light of this finding, and the absence of, of an appeal, is the IBC in order to continue with this by We don't want to win on October 14, and then somebody will go to court and say, Wiper did not win. It's important that this matter be clarified. Kama kuna maswali, mimi sitaki kuulizo maswali, nimesema yangu. <laughs> Senator Wambua can speak. Or well, Dan Maanzo here. And that is, of course, Mwishmua Kiala, uh, former deputy governor of Machakos County. And Mwishmua Mawade, member for Mbakasi. They can take some questions, if indeed you have any. Lakini in the, in the face of what I've just said, are you sure you want to ask any question? Yes, <laughs> yes sir. Yes, Musa. What you said, um, you say that uh, the deputy president is in a frustrated leader candidate. Several leaders. I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Um, several leaders have called for the resignation, including uh, President Uru Kenyatta. Would you say it is time for the deputy president to resign? You see, that's a, a jubilee issue. Mm. Um, if he has a conscience, he should. <laughs> if there's any conscience in him. But if, if he has a heart of stone, then you continue to see the posturing by, by others. We, we don't intend to leave this matter here, by the way, because my rights as a Kenyan citizen were violated by this pronouncement. My legal team is still exploring other, other, because, for instance, <laughs> heavy damages, I think, are clearly to be considered, including whatever other and legal remedies we may want to pursue. So um, it's up to him. If he has any conscience in him, he can resign or, or fail to resign, as he has said, because he says a vision. It's a man on a, vision, on a mission. A vision to steal <laughs> and a mission to, steal. to completely Get your country under the, under, <laughs> under the, even the, under the radar. Ah, no, no, no. We, tumesema tutazungumza. Na tumeanza, tutazungumza yote. Liwe liwalo. Yes, sir, Kennedy. Yeah, those things, I'm, I, I am I'm ready. I'm ready. Some of them are matters of public record. Go and talk to the managing director of um, AFC, for instance. I will tell you, they were forced to lend 200 million shillings to buy this land, which was originally owned by Criticals, in Taita Taveta. And diverted water <laughs> meant by poor Wanenchi to his farm. That is land. That is land publicly we should have reverted to the county of Taita Taveta. 200 million board force to lend. I think I should take instructions. You know, I'm still senior counsel <laughs> to, to, to demand that this money be repaid. This is public land. 
Yeah, who doesn't know the story about uh, Langata Primary School? Uh, do I need to give you evidence? You were there. You saw kids being tear gassed. And who doesn't know the story of Western? You saw there. So I am pursuing this matter legally. Because I think when the chips are down, we have a country to look after. We have a whole generation to protect against manipulation. When I talk about those helicopters, who doesn't know? Complete anger there. Yeah, yeah, just go with your camera. I'll show you. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know where it is. And the white pilots to boot. As if our own young people are not qualified to fly those helicopters. No, we'll work on that. I told you that's work and the progress. Yeah, we will. We will be talking. When we do, we'll let you know what next. What is the next cause of action? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, sasa yo nadani itawa itawasaidia kesho leo na kesho kutu. Asante.